kickers, the guys that didn't want to sprint so much started attacking. And uh, <laughs> and Van Se- Van Sevenon, Van Sevenon, yeah, who's Van Sevenon. beast up. He's been absolutely flying all week. He yeah. went to follow this boom, and oh, it looked like he was trying to follow, and he couldn't quite follow it. And this is the best part of the race for me because I then went over the top of him. Yeah, and I've seen it on ten, and I get on, and and he can't quite uh, close the gap. And yeah, that for me that was that was the most exciting moment of the race because. This is Paul Double. I interviewed him like, I don't know, last, this time last year, but there was a bit of controversy. Um, so we've got him back on the channel after his top results in Settimana Internazionale, Coppia Bartoli, um, got a top 20 overall in GC. Uh, but that doesn't sound as good as it was because there was a team time trial. But anyway, so how did you actually end up joining this Italian Conti team? Um, so obviously I was with Zappi last year and uh, he's, he's always helped me best he can. Uh, and at the end of the season, it wasn't wasn't looking great because although it hadn't been a bad season, I hadn't really done anything outrageous. I suppose everyone had a season hampered by COVID. Um, but he was asking around, and and uh, Floriano, the DS here, said to come over for a few days to to see what it's like with the team. But there was no at the time not not a real certainty that the team would go ahead. So I, to be honest, went into winter and off season thinking. Um, I'm done. <laughs> like it's off to work now. <laughs> and then Flavio calls me. He goes, "Boy, uh, I've got some good news. The team's going ahead, and uh, and I got I got a spot on the team along with um, Paul Wright, the Kiwi who was on Zapping with me last year. Yeah. So that that was nice to hear as well. That you know English company. Yeah. Um, and then now I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Um, so you were just training in the UK the whole of the winter, I guess. Um, not too far from me, actually. Yeah, so I'm, I'm from Winchester, but my dad's moved while I was away last year. My dad moved southwest to uh, Somerset. So I've been yeah training on roads near you. And uh, I think I, mi- I miss my home for just because it's home. But the, the training around there, as you know, is actually... For the UK, pretty pretty good, and you can get some nice hills in. So I think it was uh, yeah. it was pretty good. Especially I spent longer at home over winter this year than past years, mostly because of the uh, the visa situation with Brexit. Yeah, yeah, it looked like you got some outrageous times up Cherry Gorge, like two seconds off the Tour of Britain or something. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I was a bit I was a bit gutted. I didn't get it. Um, it's the comms in the air <laughs> well hard to get. It was cracking. Yeah. It was cracking. We were winning. But uh, I'll have to go back and get it. That's the plan. Yeah, I reckon in summer you've got a very good chance. Um, so when did you move out to Italy? Was it quite recently then? Yeah, I think I've been here a month now. Uh, end of Feb I came out. So right. are we in April now? Uh, tomorrow, so I think it's April. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. pretty much a month. Um, and, um, have you raced much uh, before? Like, yeah. Uh, copy of Bartoli or was it just training? No, um, I've done a lot of training at home and then came out and then, you know, when it's, you just arrive, so there's bits and bobs to sort out. Yeah. Um, so I hadn't really done too much training in the weeks leading up, which is probably good, actually. It kept me kept me fresh. And then we had copy of but two days before we had a one day called Sempre, uh, per Sempre, Alfredo, yeah. uh, which is a memorial for Alfredo Binder, I believe. Yeah, um, that's right. I, I, yeah, and uh, it was at the parkour was actually looked kind of good, but the wind was flattened the whole course out, and it was a hundred man, hundred twenty man bunch sprint. Your so I avoided the crashes, and then yeah, I'll, it was I was I was buzzing for that in the running, <laughs> no, just just cru- cruising behind, but. Uh, no, I think that was good just to get, um, although it was only two days before, it was good to just get a race in the legs. And yeah. I felt I was riding well. You know, I think one of the things that I've unintentionally stepped up this year, but knew I needed to, was is my positioning. And I'm also descending 
I'm, I'm feeling confident in the sense, which uh, not last year, but the year before, I was really struggling with after some crashes and not yeah. smashing my face in. Mm. Didn't. Not good. So, yeah, I think that improved, has improved. Yeah. And um, did you have any feeling that you were going to go really well or was it just sort of like, yeah, I feel good, but you didn't really know, I guess, racing against World Tour guys is hard to tell. Yeah, honestly, didn't have a clue. Um, I'd been training at home without a power meter and I hadn't really had it on here either. Um, so I, I didn't think I was going bad because like, I, I measure myself by taking trying to go for common to the UK. <laughs> uh, so I didn't think I'd be going bad and I, I'd been feeling all right on the bike, but uh, I didn't really know. So I went into this one day and copy of Barkley, just uh, kind of not expecting much, wanting to ride into it and just, just see how I fared, to be honest. First, first race of the season. Yeah. So the first stage, just bunch sprints. So just get around, no crashes. And then the next one was the team time draw. I heard there were rumours you thought you might not get in uh, before the time cut yeah we um we weren't overly confident going in and then and then we weren't actually that bad to be honest yes. considering we had uh, we'd only ridden together once we were in the tt bikes once or twice and our one of our main the, the main horsepower was paul wright the kiwi and yeah. he had a mechanical 4k in so he was on the back for most of it. Then he started coming through. We went through this little chicane and he dropped the wheel. And I was like, what's going on here? So I waited behind him. We were all completely spread over the road. Turns out his bike's literally falling apart. So he goes back and gets a bike change. One other guy comes back to bring me back up, thinking I'm just suffering. He brings me back up. He goes to the front, I'm on him. And then at one and a half K to go, I'm left on the front. And I pull the last one and a half K all the way to the line. And I'm like flicking my head, seeing, seeing if they'll come through. And obviously no one comes through. So I assume that they don't have the leg to come through. Um, turns out some of the guys did have the leg behind to come through. Uh, so it was, it was a bit of a shambles. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I've not made that very clear, but yeah, it was a bit of a shambles. So I think to not lose a ridiculous amount of time was actually was actually all right. Yeah, so for reference, you finished in 12 minutes 38, and Israel, who had an outrageous team, finished in 11.36. So not too bad, to be fair, um, especially not being yeah. able to ride the TT bikes much before either. Sounds like it wasn't a complete disaster. And then the next stage was like a punchy sort of finish. Uh, how did that fare? Uh, that was, I think, Soliano stage. Yeah. It had really yeah um i think all week really i was just kind of trying to preserve the legs and uh team always says you know like every team says you need to be in front in front in front yeah. all week i was kind of being as far forward as i could without being in the stress of it all because without a team to ride you riding the wind for you I feel like you just waste legs moving up and getting back, going back, moving up, going back. So I was just kind of um, being as far forward as possible, but not stressing. And then on the laps where I think the race is going to kick off, that's when I I give it some gas to to be near nearer the front. Yeah. Um, and I think that worked well on this stage as well because I was I was there on the final laps and and making making the splits. And the last lap, it's just a, a steep burn that you just give it everything on. And, yeah. and I was there until like a K to go, maybe with, I think, group of 25 or something. So, yeah, I just you, didn't quite have a guess. Do you think um, the steeper, sort of shorter ones, you're not as good at compared to a longer climb, do you reckon? Or... Uh, I think, yeah, I think my, my size... The bigger guys can generally just get over them with, with the power on the shorter ones. Um, yeah. So I'd, I'd like to think on a longer one, it would be better. But then again, on the last day, I was, it's again, not a massively long climb and I was, I was there right at the front. I think yeah. that came with confidence, to be honest, as, yeah. as the week went, went on. Yeah. And um, so then I think next stage is just like another bunch sprint, not too crazy. And then the one up to San Marino <laughs> was another sort of similar, like. It's funny, it's funny you say that. Because 
you see it on telly and that stage that was a bunch sprint with hater one yeah it, 80, 85 guys pretty much i think were in the front group coming yeah. towards the area. but that stage was so hard was it it was it was just so hard all day just grippy um yeah. and you don't i don't think you can you can see that on telly and no nah, they only showed like the last hour or something it looked like yeah it was like descended everyone looked quite chill and i was like oh probably yeah. wasn't too hard but i mean i got around in the front group and you know i wasn't too stressed at any point during the day but it was hard <laughs> yeah i guess it was quite a hilly one they wanted to get any of wanted to get really sprinted so they were like yeah proper full on the climbs and then yeah the san marino stage was i guess similar to stage two in the back it was just sort of a steep climb in the end but not too long. yeah that was just i mean four thousand meters that yeah. day um i think alex dowsett said that the terrain was so hard that the group almost raced it steady yeah. <laughs> because um otherwise everyone would just be completely destroyed and even when they raced it steady everyone was destroyed and then the last laps the guys that got some gas raced it so hard and it's it was savage <laughs> yeah it looked like the last i know i mean even with like a k to go there was only like 10 people left like it was pretty yeah I, that day i got dropped off i don't know exactly but in my head it was like 700 meters to go and yeah and then in sight i think if i position a bit better on that last bit because someone dropped the wheel in front of me yeah if i a little bit better and and not being behind that wheel then i feel like i would have been done a lot better that day uh, especially in hindsight seeing what i did the, the day after yeah do you feel as a quanti guy you get bullied quite a lot in the bunch or is it not too bad um it's funny i think the world tour guys not so much they don't they don't bully the quanti guys but yeah. the italian quanti guys they've got the biggest heads on them you can find and yeah you get in some serious arguments with them they, they absolutely they do my head in really they think they've got some big boots and uh yeah it is so annoying because you're like we're not far off you guys yeah um, so yeah i think the, the world tour guys are, are in my opinion far more respectful to everyone in the race everyone's there for a reason yeah uh, they're trying to do the best they can and um but then then it, having said that as a conti rider we do we respect, you know, if, if a t big team is running a, in a train, we respect that. Yeah. Maybe on occasions I've gone up to a train and said, look, I'm on my own. There's no one else with me. Can I just slot in here? What's, what's one place going to make a difference? You? And, and sometimes they'll, they'll be kind of let you in. If not, then yeah, fair enough. Not, not a problem. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Makes sense. Um, and then the last stage, I guess, was your best result in it whole race top 10 on the stage only like 20 seconds back from the guy who won overall so pretty good day out yeah um i yeah, i was i was ecstatic with that to be honest because uh i hadn't felt good all day and then and then on the last climb i was just following the wheels just trying to stay as far forward as possible look behind and there's 11 11 of us over the top so I was like, wow, this, I'm on for a result here. This is yeah. good. And uh, five guys came back in, so that was 16 of us. Um, Archibald came back in. So I think uh, Quickstep were kind of waiting for him. Yeah. And then, so it descends a little bit, and then there's a few kickers up before you descend into the flat part. And on these kickers, the guys that didn't want to sprint so much started attacking. And... Uh, <laughs> and Vince, Van Sevenon, Van Sevenon, yeah, who's Van Sevenon. beast. Oh, he's been absolutely flying all week. He yeah. went to follow this move, and oh, it looked like he was trying to follow, and he couldn't quite follow it. And this is the best part of the race for me because I then went over the top of him, yeah. And I've seen it on ten, and I get on, and and he can't quite uh, close the gap. And yeah, that for me that was that was the most exciting moment of the race because I felt like I was. I was there, properly yeah. there, racing for time to ride. <laughs> and I was like, I may look like a child and yeah. I'm on a smaller team, but, you know, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. touch the wind at all. Yeah, um, yeah, it makes so sense. I, 
sprint. Yeah, and then I guess the sprint was just whatever you had left. Yeah, I, I actually, considering I'm not overly confident in my sprint, I, I went as soon as the first person kicked, I went then. Yeah. And I was, I was feeling really good. I was definitely making up positions. And then at 50 meters to go, it turns to cobbles. My legs went. I sat down and, and I managed to salvage three places in the line because I did a lunge. Yeah. Um, it was, there was four of us in the line. I was like, oh, that was a bit close. Well, you got Ben Ehrman's at the end of the day, so it was all good. Yeah. <laughs> Cut him on the lunch. So, yeah, you must have been buzzing about that. But um, what were the team saying? Were they just sort of over the moon? Do they not expect sort of the top 10 going in? Or... Oh, for, sh- for sure the team team really chuffed. And um, we didn't... What well, I quite like when you go into the pro races, you don't have too much pressure to perform. Yeah. When, when we go to the nationals, the Italian nationals, that is, and you know, 1.2s, 2.2s, yeah. then you're expected to perform. But we go here more for the experience and um, to, to get get the miles in the legs, or race miles in the legs. Yeah. So to actually do something um, noteworthy was was really good. Yeah. So um, what's the plan next then? Just if you got, I think you said another stage race in Spain could be on the cards. Yeah, fingers crossed we get uh, that at the end of the month. If not, I think we've got a different stage race, unknown where, but um, yeah. I, think, I think we've got one if we don't get the other one. Yeah. Um, up to then, I'm not actually sure what the plan is. We've got a local race, but that's a sprint race, so not sure what we'll do there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, it's a bit of an unknown what's coming up next, to be honest. So yeah. I think I'll just crack it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, well done. The result is absolutely huge. Um, I think, you know, hopefully I'll leave all your social media below and hopefully everyone will give you a little follow and um, okay. see what you're up to. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it is, um, it's my best result to date, I think. Um, but, you know, every time you step up, um, I feel like you think back and feel you're almost deluded as to, what results can get you to which places. So I yeah. think for, for now, I just, you know, I've got that, I can be happy with it, but I've got to move on to the next one and, and try and back it up with, with more now. That's, yeah, definitely. That's gonna- I guess it's just a good sign that like, you can mix up with World Tour Pros. So like in the future, you'll know that like, oh, I don't need to, you know, hide or whatever. I'll just be there at the final. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's, that's exactly it. All right, perfect. Cheers. Thanks so much for this. I'll um, whack all the, the videos on top because they're all I can all use the videos from Copy Bar to leave, so it should be okay. a good. Awesome. Nice, nice. All right, perfect. Well, um, good luck with the rest of the season. And uh, well, hopefully when you get the next win, then uh, we'll get you back on the blower. And, uh, all right, yeah. No, cheers, cheers. Appreciate your time. Yeah, um, you too, mate.